published 1730 EDT, 24 September 2017 Updated 1845 EDT, 24 September 2017 Pep Guardiola took out his frustration on his chair, his team and even a ball boy. When he had got his way, and another crushing Manchester City victory was complete, he took aim at his best player, Leroy Saint. The message was clear nobody at the Etihad is safe if they don't measure up to his expectations. Make no mistake, the driving force behind this ruthless, relentless city side is their ever demanding manager. Pep the perfectionist. Pep Guardiola remained an animated figure throughout Manchester City's win on Saturday. Leroy Sane impressed having earned a Premier League start, and he scored the opening goal that is six straight wins now with 24 goals scored and still he wants more from his players. They know it, he said after claiming Sane didn't deserve to play after a poor pre-season. The 21-year-old was the only change from City's 60 win at Watford and he responded with a goal and two assists. Presumably Sane has done enough to keep his place, but you never know. They know their teammates are all playing well, added Guardiola. If the next guy is playing well, they have to play well. That's how you get the best performances. Everybody has to push each other. Guardiola still he wants more from his players, and the likes of Sane are starting to produce. Raheem Sterling has scored five goals in his last four Premier League games, as many as in his previous 31 combined. Sane broke Crystal Palace's resistance just before halftime, but that didn't prevent his boss from kicking out of his seat in the dugout and disappearing down the tunnel like the Tasmanian devil. His frustration at the game's low pace extended to putting an arm around a ball boy and having a quiet word. Fingers crossed, he'll still be there next week. You could argue without Kit Pep's exhortations, his team would not have raised their game to the level they did in the second half pummeling poor Palace. But Roy Hodgson was not the only one surprised to see a furious Guardiola still hopping around screaming for a penalty with the score at 30. Pep's going crazy for a penalty, and I'm thinking, you don't need that said Hodgson. Man City get better and stronger as the game goes on. They don't show any mercy. Guardiola's options are frightening. When Pound's 52 million defender Bernard Mandy was injured, he sent on Danilo, a £26.5 million recruit from Real Madrid. Guardiola tells Delph precisely what he expects from him during his brief cameo appearance when he gave Twogel Raheem Sterling a rest, on went £43 million man Bernardo Silva. City's other substitute, Fabian Delph, scored a brilliant goal. It was of mere footnote that Sergio Aguero moved to within one goal of City's all-time scoring record while his strike partner Gabriel Jesus sat on the bench. A trip to Chelsea is up next after Tuesday's Champions League tie against Shakhtar Donetsk, and greater challenges lie ahead, but City cut through Palace here. Here was the team that can't stop scoring coming up against the team that simply can't score. No other club in the history of professional football in England has opened the season with six league defeats without scoring. Crystal Palace boss Roy Hodgson is yet to see his side score and has called for more energy can it get any worse well, actually, it can. Palace's next two games are against Manchester United and Chelsea. In Hodgson's opinion, his players only have to look at City to improve their work rate. Some of the things they did off the ball are a good lesson for us. We can say, listen, if they are doing that with their talent, there's no excuse for you not doing it. Those are the standards set by Guardiola. Pity anybody who falls below them.